still are, though years have rolled over them. <laughs> but this afternoon my obligation ceases. Individually, I love you all with affection unspeakable. But collectively, I look upon you with a disgust that amounts to absolute <laughs> detestation. <laughs> oh, pity me, my beloved friend. For such is my sense of duty, that once out of my indentures, I shall feel myself bound to devote myself heart and soul to your extermination. Oh, poor oh, lad, lad. poor oh, lad. lad. Well, Frederick, if you conscientiously feel it is your duty to destroy us, we cannot blame you for acting on that conviction. Always act in accordance with the dictates of your conscience and chance the consequences. Besides, we can offer you little temptation to remain with us. We don't seem to make piracy pay. I'm sure I don't know why, but we don't. <laughs> I know why, but alas, I mustn't tell you. It wouldn't be right. Oh, I am not lad. It's only half eleven. You are ours until the clock strikes twelve. True. <laughs> and until then, we are bound to protect our interests. Here, yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> well then, it is my duty as a pirate to tell you that you are too. Tender-hearted. <laughs> for, for, for instance, you made a point of never attacking a weaker party than yourselves. And then, when you attack a stronger party, you invariably get thrashed. <laughs> there is some truth in that. <laughs> and then again, you make a point of never molesting an orphan. <laughs> <laughs> we are orphans ourselves, and no one is here. <laughs> yes, but it's not about. And what is the consequence? Everyone we capture says he's an orphan. I mean, the last three ships we took alone proved to be manned entirely by orphans. <laughs> I mean, one would think that the entirety of Great Britain's mercantile navy was recruited solely from her orphan asylums, <laughs> which we know is not the case. <laughs> Hang it all. Would you have us absolutely merciless? Well, there's my difficulty. You see, before 12 o'clock, I would. After twelve, I really wouldn't. <laughs> Was ever a man placed in so delicate a situation? And Ruth, your Ruth, <laughs> whom you love so dearly, who has won her middle-aged way into your boyish heart. <laughs> what is to become of her? You will take you with him. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, I feel some slight difficulty about you. Oh. <laughs> it is true that I admire you very much, but I've been constantly at sea since I was eight years old, and yours is the only woman's face I've seen in that time. I think it's a It is. I say I think it is. I mean, that is my impression. But as I've never had an opportunity of comparing you with other women, is that I may be mistaken. <laughs> and what a terrible thing it would be if I were to marry this innocent person and then discover that she is, on the whole, plain. <laughs> oh, forever. Ruth is. Very well. Yes, very well indeed. <laughs> well, the remains of a fine woman about Ruth. <laughs> Do you really think so? I do. I, yeah. <laughs> well then, I shall not be so selfish as to take her from you. In justice to her and in consideration for you, I will leave her behind. <laughs> oh, Frederick, this cannot be. We are. We are rough men! Yes. <laughs> we lead a rough life. There is none among us so heartless to take thy love. No, I think. Not one of us would deprive thee of this inestimable treasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, not one! Not <laughs> not. Uh, keep thy love, Frederick. Keep thy love. You're very good, I'm sure. Mm, yes, well, would you look at the tide? We must be <laughs> off. So <laughs> <laughs> when your uh, extermination begins, let our deaths be as swift and painless as you can conveniently make them. I will. By the love I have for you, I swear it. Would that you'd render this extermination unnecessary by accompanying me back to civilization. Oh, Frederick, this could not be. I don't think much of our profession. 
but compared with respectability, it is comparatively honest. No, Frederick, I shall live and die a pirate king. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, better far to live and die under the free black flag I fly than play a sanctimonious part with a pirate head and a pirate heart. <laughs> <laughs>
is a bevy of beautiful maidens. Lost, 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 lost. How lovely, how surpassingly lovely is the plainest of them. What a grace, delicacy, refinement. And Ruth, Ruth told me she was beautiful. <laughs> You have deceived me. I, I have deceived you. No. Yes, deceived me. <laughs> you told me you were fair as gold. And master, am I not so? But now I see you're plain and old. I'm sure I'm not a jot so. Upon my innocence you pray. I'm not the one to blood so. Your face is lined, your hair is grey. It's glad you only got so. Faithless <laughs> woman to deceive me, I who trusted so. Master, master, do not leave me, hear me ere you go. Faithless woman, master, master. Faithless woman, master, master. Faithless woman, do Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 
for shame. For shame. For shame. For
in the caves, all trying to be a gallery. Oh, if I can go into the yard and the rabbits. I can tell them down to Raphael's and get a doubt and talk to me. I'm going to cook in corn from the frogs and out of me. Then I can hum a few books which I've heard of music later. Don't worry, don't worry, I've got it. It's on the tip of my hand. Oh. <laughs> And whistle all the years from that infernal nuts and pitiful! I think we misunderstand one another. 
When I asked you, have you ever known what it is to be an orphan, you say orphan. As I understand it, you are merely repeating the word orphan to show that you understand me. <laughs> I didn't repeat the word orphan. <laughs> Pardon me, you did indeed. Uh, I only repeated it once. Uh, yes, but you still repeated it. Ah, but not often. <laughs> 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 no, I, I see what I'm mistaken. When you say orphan, do you mean orphan, someone who's lost his parent, eh? or orphan frequently? Ah, there you go. I don't see what you mean. Frequently. Ah, you said orphan frequently. No, only once. <laughs> exactly, you said orphan frequently, only once! Oh, come on! Go back to Forgo your cruel employ. Have pity on my lonely state. I am an orphan boy. <laughs>